Hello and welcome to Emma Read Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. This was posted by Code Thulu one What is your most ridiculous way to answer someone knocking on your occupied bathroom stall? What are your sins, my son? I prefer the opposite. Forgive me, father. It's been one day since my last confession. I've self-abused 15 times and slept with four women. Only one was married. It does ruin knock-knock jokes, though. Knock-knock. Knock-knock. Chuckle. Come back with a warrant! I like saying, no thank you, as if I'm politely declining their offer to join me. The flash drive is under the sink. What's the password? New England clam chowder. Is that the red or the white? I can never remember that. White? I don't even have to think about it. It gets an automatic high-pitched comical COME IN! Which often produces a comically long pause on the other side of the door before the feet turn and walk away. Finally! Reinforcements! Thank God! Did you bring the butter? You just made it go back inside! Just scream as loud as you can and don't stop till they leave the bathroom. We've been expecting you. Come in. I have a client already, you'll have to wait. No answer. It always leaves them guessing. If they're still out there when you come out, start signing words. Okay, story time. That actually reminds me of a situation that happened to me a few months ago. I was walking on my way to class at my university when I felt a horrid crap coming on. It was like real bad. I didn't have a test or anything, so I said, F it, whatever, I'll skip class and take care of this. The closest building to me was the student union. The men's room on the third floor is always clean and usually pretty private for a restroom with about 10 crappers. So I walk in and start taking care of business and then crap gets weird. Now might be the time to mention that about a week or so prior our school had a possible school shooter situation which the school handled terribly. Kid didn't even have a gun, it was a huge misunderstanding. The atmosphere on campus was still kind of thick and some people were a little on edge still, myself included. So back to me in the stall. There's only me and the other guy in that room taking a dump. It's dead quiet. Too quiet. Then slowly, out of the abyss, I hear someone singing. Not like regular singing. I mean, Oprah level crap. The singing slowly gets closer until the crazy singing mother effer actually enters the bathroom. I don't know why he came in that particular bathroom that day at the time, but it wasn't to go to the bathroom. Couldn't see this guy, so I have no idea what he's doing, but as soon as he entered the bathroom, it sounded like he was assembling IKEA furniture or some crap, all while singing. So in my paranoid head, I'm picturing some psycho taking out pieces of an AK out of a briefcase and putting it together like you see in the movies. This guy literally, I crap you not, was doing this for like 10 minutes, at which point I was wondering if I had a stroke on the toilet, died and went to some bizarro hell dimension. During this time, no one came in the bathroom. It didn't look like me and my soulmate were going to be receiving an extraction. So I'm assuming that I'm probably about to go out by getting gunned down in a stall with my pants around my ankles, you know, really classy like. I'm preparing for the worst, about to text my family tell them I love them when suddenly the singing stop and this guy just leaves. No gunshots, nothing, silence. Until the guy in the stall near me lets out the most raunchy fart I've ever heard. We shared a laugh and that was the end of that. Open the door, offer to show them what you've made. Come back later, I'm doing the dishes. Hold on, let me finish my sandwich. My pizza's here! That's not the secret knock. In a panic voice say, I came alone like you told me to. Here's the briefcase with my money. Please don't hurt her. Say, I'm disabled. In an Irish accent. Oh. I'm disabled! Move back! What are you doing? Don't panic! <laughs> this next question was asked by user Coupe Oxo. What is the most ridiculous thing you've had to explain to a grown man slash woman? My mom told me I couldn't text while driving in a school zone. I had to explain to her that only applies to the actual driver as I texted away in the passenger seat. You can open the photocopier to get blank paper out of it, you know. You don't have to keep photocopying that one blank page you keep carrying around with you. 
that United Kingdom and United States of America is not the same place just because it has United in front of it. I might have told this story on Reddit before, but I had to explain to a lady how sliced bread works. We used to work in a bakery that pretty much only did bread and a lady came in and this conversation happened. Her points at bread. Do you have that? But like in a bag of slices, me trying to be polite. Oh yeah, we slice the bread. Her. Oh, okay, but do you have it in a bag of slices? Me. Um, yes, we bag it after we slice it. Her. Okay, but I really need this in a bag of slices. Me. We put the bread in a machine that cuts it into slices and then we put those slices in a bag. Her. Okay, but do you sell this same bread in a bag of slices? Me. Let me show you. I take the bread and slice it for her and bring the sliced bagged bread back to her. She looks so excited you'd think she'd never saw sliced bread before. Her. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Keep in mind that English was the woman's first language. She was just really dumb. I had a sort of similar funny situation where I was the one who didn't understand. I was a brand new checkout operator at a grocery store that also sells cigarettes. A man comes in and asks for, just smokes. I ask him, what brand? Just smokes, he says. I ask him if one of the more popular, cheaper brands is okay. Just smokes, he says, exasperatedly. I'm very confused. He seems to just want any cigarettes, but I don't know what to give him as obviously cigarette prices vary a lot by the number of cigarettes in the pack and brand and I don't know what kind he's looking for, nor what kind of price range he has in mind. He just keeps demanding, just smokes. We go back and forth like that and eventually he gets really annoyed and says that he'll just get them from another store. I'm very miffed and slightly upset that this customer screamed at me when he wouldn't tell me what brand or what size pack he wanted. All he would say is, just smokes. Another customer who watched this go down reassures me that he's known around town as a grumpy old man and that I did the best I could. Later that day I'm restocking the cigarette cabinet. I come across a brand of cigarettes that I've never heard of before and one that a customer has never asked for before. The brand? Just smokes. A baby's umbilical cord is not attached to the inside of my belly button. Similarly, my dad once had to explain to a patient that it was perfectly safe to bathe or swim whilst pregnant. She thought if she got water over her belly button that the baby would drown. That his false advertisement suit versus Time Warner wouldn't hold up because they're not the ones that told him he was the millionth viewer to a website and promised him a prize. You mean there aren't hot singles in my area? Worked with a guy probably 18, 19 doing a job on a farm. He asked me, what the F is that thing? It was a chicken. He was dead serious. He'd never seen a chicken before. Edit. Yes, yes, I'm sure he knows what a potato is. That trusting in the scientific method is not the same as being a Scientologist. That if they eat a large quantity of fast food, it's not unreasonable for them to feel full and bloated and that this doesn't constitute a medical complaint requiring a doctor's review. You don't save money breaking transactions up into individual items and using a 20% coupon in each one rather than just taking 20% off the whole purchase. Seriously, one transaction. It's simple math. Stop wasting our time. I work in tech support and similarly, a staggeringly high number of callers that we get just assume that I can view their screen at all times without setting anything up. I once got into a screaming match with someone because she didn't believe fish aren't mammals. I once had to explain to someone that fish were animals. According to him, fish are just fish. There's animal, vegetable, mineral, and apparently fish. That contrary to her belief, islands are in fact not floating like big rubber boats. She was asking how, with the wind and currents, the islands still maintained their position without roaming the oceans like rocky icebergs. My boyfriend had to explain to his sister's friend that the sun and the moon are different things. She thought the moon was just what the sun looked like in the dark. Facebook isn't how you should be keeping up on current events. That article Janine posted is 100% bullcrap. And Francis believes the earth is flat. So why are you listening to him anyway? Just a couple of weeks ago, I had to explain to a co-worker that thunder is the sound of lightning. She walked away from the conversation angry about how stupid I was, looked it up and apologised to me. I've got to give her credit there. Also, I work in a laboratory. This co-worker is college educated. I had to explain to a friend that no, honey does not come from milking bears like you would a cow. 
girl I know thought that we don't eat chicken eggs. She thought the eggs that chickens lay are exclusively the ones that hatch into chicks, and that the eggs that we eat are just made in the factory. That it was safe to watch the eclipse on the television without safety glasses. That the deer crossing sign on the highway weren't in fact for the deer, they were to alert the drivers. Deer can't read. That hurricanes are not named according to whether they are male or female, it's just an arbitrary name. Hurricanes do not have a gender identity. No love. The movie Armageddon is not based off of real events. Yes, I'm sure. If people delete you on Facebook for saying racist things, they aren't the assholes, dad. My friend, who I haven't seen in a while, recently visited from out of town. He was kind of a dumbass when we were younger, but now he's definitely got his crap together, sells health insurance, makes good money doing it. Anyways, though, we go out to grab dinner and beers once he arrives in town, and as we're signing our checks to get out of there, I notice something strange about what he's writing. Where you're supposed to write the tip and total, he has numbers that look way too long from what I can tell, like six digits each. How much are you leaving for a tip? I asked as I lean over to check his writing. Before he can respond though, I notice that for the total, say if the amount was 45.67, he's written 45.67.00. And for the tip, instead of writing something like 5.00, he's written 5.00.00. So I point that out and chuckle, ask him why he does that. His response? I just like to be exact. I try to explain for the next minute or two to him why that isn't more exact. It's just mathematically wrong, confusing to a waiter, and makes him look like an idiot. But he just keeps saying that he likes to be exact. Lol. I just let it go because I started feeling like I was berating him and he was only in time for a couple of days. I had to explain to my 21 year old son that there's no such thing as ghosts, but he just wouldn't listen. All he kept saying was, but we were all at your funeral. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow!